Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic. We're your hosts, Kirby Kidd. And Black Superman. Also known as David Clark. And Walter Bryan. And today we're talking about Superior Spider-Man number one. Okay. We're getting into it. Yeah, we hated it at the beginning. Yeah, real quick, before we get to spoilers, we're going to give away two codes of Superior Spider-Man um, and various other current Marvel stuff. Yeah. Um, it really depends on how I feel when I'm editing this. <laughs> but uh, yes, you're getting two codes for Superior Spider-Man. Read it, come back, because we're getting ready to spoil all of it. Pretty much. Now, again, like I said, we pretty much hated it before we ever read it. Because, well, Doc Ock won. Yeah. And if you don't understand what that's talking about, watch the, watch the Amazing Spider-Man 700 one, then come back. Yeah. Okay, now that being said, we get to like this. Yes, um... I just want to kind of skip to the end on this one. Yeah. Uh, Peter's back. He's sort of in his body because that just makes sense. I mean, come on. Yeah. You're, he's kind of like inside his own mind. Um, there are a billion ways that could have happened. There was a point in, in the end of um, Amazing Spider-Man where their, their minds linked. Yeah. So, he's so probably, he could have gotten back in there that way. Yeah. So he's he's still back. He hasn't got, got control back. Um, Peter's body is still in control with uh, Otto. Who's talking like a jerk? Who seems like he's obviously not Peter Parker, but mm, but no one notices because they're stupid. Yeah, but and, and in, in a world where you have shapeshifters and people who do mind control, no one notices that he's that different. Stupid Marvel people. Yeah, but the um the best part I liked about it is um Otto is actually is better at being Spider Man. Yeah, because he's not doing that whole oh I need to pull my punch thing. No, which is yeah. pretty cool. He's like, <laughs> you know, I mean, he's like, he's very angry. He uses his full strength. Oh, and he uses his brain a lot. <laughs> yeah, because Peter kind of uses his face as a punching bag. Yeah, he was turning on people's powers and crap and making people useless and like spying on people. He has claws that inject you with GPS signals. I mean, it's yeah, crazy. That, that, that was pretty tight. That, that I mean, was, that was tight. amazing. Like, you thought it was just a scratch. He's like, no, nah, I know where you are. Peter, when you come back, Please Do learn service. something from this experience. <laughs> yeah, like now, um, I, I'm a big fan of Spider-Man 2099. Right. I, mean, I wasn't really a big fan of, of Spider-Man until about a year ago, right. but Spider-Man 2099, I'm a big fan of. And the claw thing is actually something that comes from Spider-Man 2099. Oh, he had the GPS. Not thingy? not the GPS thing, just the claws. So Doc Ock is more advanced than someone from way in the future. Yeah. Well, Miguel O'Hara wasn't really that smart, but that's neither here nor there because we're not talking about Miguel O'Hara. We're talking about Otto Octavius as Spider-Man. Which really still sounds wrong. Yeah. But we know it's not going to be for long. Because Marvel has realized how unpopular this move would be. And they have built themselves a way out. I don't think that they realized how unpopular this is. I think they knew when they did it. Yeah. This was, this was a, okay, we're going to kick you in the private parts moment. And then we'll give you back what you really want. It's a sales hike. Because yeah. they know for like a good couple of months, Spider-Man is going to be bought a lot. Yeah, because now... Now, especially now that we all know that Peter's in there. Yeah. We just want to see how he's going to come back. Yeah. So, so now, um, even if we hate the book, everyone's going to keep buying it. They want to see how it comes to back. see how he comes back. So that we could have Amazing Spider-Man 1. Well played, sirs. Yes. Check and mate. However, <laughs> you do it again, I will cut you off. Yeah. I mean, because, like, I'm a, I'll am probably buy Superior for about three, four issues. And if I don't see Peter coming back, or at least starting to come back, mm. I'm done. I'll give you six. In six <laughs> issues, <Thanks>. Peter. <laughs> in six issues, Peter better at least be fighting Octavius for control every now right. and then. You know, like like he suddenly gets control of his body during one fight, and then or like he better not be able to get with MJ because that's really one is unfair and may be legally rape. I don't know. <laughs> like I don't, I don't know how that how that works, but something he's got to fight a little harder than just say oh, I won't let you kill. How about I won't let you be me. How about that? Yeah. Where's that? Where's that struggle every moment of the day? Yeah. You would, but well, he did actually say at the end there, "I will find my way back." So maybe, maybe he, this was the first time he realized he could do something. Yeah, that maybe. Because let's face it, I'm not letting somebody do this with my body. Right? You're not. No, no. Like no, I no. just became an Avenger, and you want to take my body? Oh no, this is not happening. You know what? This new Sinister Six, I'll let them kill you. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Just to prove a point, you know? I just found out I can stop your hand. I'm going to catch it mid-fight and let them punch you in the face. And you do a lot. Yeah. So, that's how we feel about Superior Spider-Man, number one. Uh, 
We're going to keep following it for a while. Yeah. And, and we're definitely going to talk about it on Krypton Radio Thursdays at 7 p.m. Yeah, so watch that. Watch for that. Um, and, well, I guess you can't watch it, really. Listen for it. Listen for it. And then when you listen to that, you'll actually hear us talk about some of the scenes from it, some of our favorite stuff. Um, so listen to that. Yep. And uh, for those of you out there who know that we also do Day Zero, um, our other shows from Day Zero will be coming over here. The anime show and the video game show, D-Pad and Anyholic Time Chamber. So there's going to be a whole lot more content popping up on this channel. Yeah, and then we're also going to make a few changes. So um, hopefully you'll like the new things that we do and enjoy. Yeah. And uh, we may not be very consistent this week and next week because Captain Banks from Circuit Board is getting married. So congratulations. Yay! Yay! So life's going to be a little crazy, but we are getting back to normal. <laughs> so, but uh, until then, we've been your host, Kirby Kid And Black Superman. See you later, guys. <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs>